I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. If you don't know who Sketch is, I believe he's Jinxie's brother and massive streamer. Also, yesterday he got exposed for being gay. gay. Somehow that was the biggest news. Let's just say Madden isn't the most inclusive community of all time. They got NFL players clouded him, but uh, nevertheless, I digress. Also, his govy name is literally Kylie Cox. So why is anybody shocked? Sketch done played all y'all. I feel like a lot of these NFL players went a little ham because it's not like Sketch chose to leak this himself. He got exposed. In my opinion, Sketch didn't even have to do this, but he had a better apology for being gay than Dr. Disrespect had for texting minors. Look at this. Open and honest. That was me. Now, when I say this guy was public enemy number one on the internet yesterday, I mean it. Because people weren't only clowning him for being gay, they were clowning him for faking a disability. The internet's favorite cuck also had something to say and got himself involved in the mix. And I don't mean this cuck, I mean this one. He's genuinely, I don't know why it's the new Twitch word, he's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. No, he wasn't. No, he's not. He lied to you about his life. You're acting like it was like a long, two years ago, he was taking it up the ass and getting paid for it on only One of the most genuine guys that he would have been straight up about his life. What a crazy thing to keep secret. Dog, not everyone's you, Sneeko. Some things you should just keep secret. You know what I mean? Also, how does him being gay affect his f***ing Madden content? Like, that's what I don't understand. He shouldn't be open with everything he does in private. That's weird. Anyway, this guy absolutely clowned Sneeko and ratioed him 117k likes, saying that a man pretending to be a Muslim for financial gain says Sketch is living a lie. No comment. Two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. Um... This is going worse than I thought it was. Um... Can't blame the guy. Under the circumstances he's in, he's doing fine. It's okay. Um, what else do I have to say? I don't know. Thank you to all my people that have been sticking up for me. I understand if you're bad. Okay, I was dealing with some addiction problems. I don't think he needs to make justifications for being gay. Sex worker, I understand. He might have a younger audience and he doesn't want to, like, show him that side of him. And it's not like he did. He didn't leak himself, oil up, and start twerking on stream. He got exposed, right? And it's not like he, Chris Mr. Beast, transitioned into a sex worker all of a sudden. No, he's the same old dude. People just expose some old clips. Only Sneeko would go after Sketch harder than he went after Dr. Disrespect. You can't make it up, really. Truly comedy cinema. Literally 1984 doublespeak. Calls it love speech while spreading hate based. <laughs> anyway, enough about Sneeko. He sort of hops on every trendy take and drops like a mega contrarian opinion to drive attention to his channel. And uh, he's smarter than a lot of people think. It's working. He's getting the money and the views. You know he made it because every hotel got the Sneeko chair. Outcry to this was bigger than Sneeko rambling in his mattress filled room. This guy said that the NFL are cowards for deleting everything you'd posted with Sketch. And this got a lot of attention. This got like 80,000 likes, millions of views. And uh, turns out he was just lying. He was just making stuff up and spreading misinformation. Readers added context they thought other people might want to know. The at NFL hasn't removed any posts containing sketch. <laughs> Straight up spreading misinformation, implying the NFL's like homophobic or something. Or... <laughs> oh god. A lot of people started posting their photos with Sketch, too, coming in to support him, and it's like almost as if he died. People are posting their remembrance photos. It's really not that serious. This one was my favorite. Logan Paul's friend Mike and some dude said, you posted a girl to save your ass. <laughs> like, bro. While, while gay jokes can be funny, some people were straight up homophobic, and I don't think Sketch should ever apologize for being gay. He might apologize for being a sex worker, that's on him, but a controversial take here. The people that are the most homophobic are probably closeted gays that hate themselves. Like, you see it time and time again. It's a tale as old as time. But the absolute G in this scenario was FaZe Banks. Banks was there to help Sketch in a time of need, and he was there to talk to him. Just like Spider-Man dropping his costume, Sketch left this photo of his shoes and glasses and left the FaZe house. Bro, what do you mean? You're our boy. You didn't have to dip. You didn't involve us in anything, bro. You good? I'm over by the airport. I didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Come back. You're good, dude. The boys pulled up on me and woke me up. They wanted me to make sure you were good. You're good, bro. Come back. We're all here. You're the homie. I'll come now. I just need someone to talk to. We're all posted. Come back. You need me to call you a car? On the way.
Banks is a real homie, but I still find it funny how people are taking these texts as if Sketch literally killed somebody and Banks is helping him cover it up or like supporting him, hiding him from the police. I don't know. It's just funny to me personally. New nickname drops. People are calling Sketch Stretch and I, I found that kind of funny. A little amusing, if you will. The NFL players, however, didn't care. They were straight up smoking him. So massive respect to Banks for sticking up for his homie. If you guys remember Ty Hill from earlier, the guy who said Sketch done played all y'all, the NFL player, well, he got smoked pretty hard back. So, uh, oof. Now, don't get me wrong i'm not pushing anything on anybody if certain things are against your religion and you have a certain mindset i'm not here to change that the one thing i find hypocritical is this though a lot of the criticism levied towards sketch was like he played y'all as if he was like covering this up and this was a big part of him but at the end of the day People should stop identifying with their sexuality so much because there's more to people than just their gender, sex, or preference. Now, this might just be me, but if I start a conversation with a human and the first thing they tell me are their pronouns or their sexuality, I think less of them. And it's not because of their pronouns or their sexuality. It's like, dude, you that's the first thing you tell me. Is that the only thing I gotta know about you? Is that your whole defining personality? Sketch never revealed that, and that's fine because how does this relate with his Madden content? There is zero relation to it. And truth be told, the only reason I even think this was blown out of proportion is because he wasn't just exposed for being gay. He was exposed for being a sex worker, a gay for pay sex worker. People are more angry at Sketch being gay than Dr. Disrespect talking to minors. I hate this app so much sometimes. Lover hates Sneeko. He does know how to get himself involved in drama that's completely unrelated to him. So he gets a kid audience by being a fucking autistic re getting the iPad kids who are already re from the vaccines and from all the social media they look at all day long. If anybody knows anything about acting retarded and getting a kid's audience, it would be Sneeko, so I guess point for him. Vaccines. I don't know how vaccines are related to Sketch, but go on. They, every day they want to go, what's up, brother? And they see the guy that they look up to. What's up, brothering right up that hole? Sneeko's literally a professional potster. He just interjects himself in a situation that doesn't concern him at all, and then people get angry at him, and it boosts his numbers. Earlier this week, he connected Pokemon streaming to Dr. Disrespect messaging minors, and this week he compares Sketch being gay to Israel. Pretty much apples to oranges. This guy's the master of false equivalents. Sketch checking out why he's trending. Oh, at least some people had a sense of humor about it. I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. I think Sketch personally handled it really well and made that Bill Clinton joke and then started wobbling around his room. Elephant in the room, I got a haircut. Like he's making jokes about it and he's handling it really well. Good for him. Good for him. Put yourself in his position. You know, he's probably getting a lot of hate, a lot of homophobia and like genuine death threats sent at him. And he's just brushing it off, laughing it off. All right, brace yourself, gentlemen. We're about to enter the shadow realm of the dark side of Twitter. Sketch was being railed by black guys in a Wonder Woman costume on his OF, which he claims he did to supply money for his drug addiction. And it is being called homophobic to suggest this is f***ed up. I, while I personally don't think it's homophobic to do that because Sketch himself admitted he was in a wrong place, I do believe there are two sides of people to the story. People that are just mad that he's gay and people that are more mad at him being a sex worker, whether that be gay or not. Getting leaked like that is truly unfortunate for Sketch and the moral of the story is don't do sex work. Sketch himself said he was addicted to substances and pursued this hedonistic lifestyle, which he deeply regrets, so don't make that mistake. But do make the mistake of subscribing to my YouTube channel.